Welcome back to another video guys. In this video I will show you how to kind of reset the uh, AdBlue system. So what's happened here, it's not given us, a, given us a limited mileage, but what's happening, the car's juddering, there's no power. Obviously the EPF is clogged up. The, um, as you can see, it says on level one, so they have had the warning. So if we turn it on, um, it'll ping up on here and there as well um, to say, the Ad Blue system we've just kind of topped up as well so really it should go so that's going on but I'll upload a picture as to what I mean and on here the Ad Blue so you've got eight and a half litre range mileage uh, check control it comes up with the chassis again I'll upload the picture of what it will like before we once you do the drive it kind of like calculates so what we need to do as you can see it says permanent what we have to do is turn the engine off turn the ignition on okay and we have to go into service so when you're in service you have to go into the powertrain and you've got transmission that and that and that so we're going to go into the engine st uh, no sorry we're going to go into digital um and we're going to reset some of these here so i'm going to go through them one by one and i'll tell you what you can reset so you can reset i'm going to reset the dpf that there's no question uh the scr uh so that one i'm going to reset i'm just going to check on that as well um and register scr i'm just going to do that as well sometimes it doesn't so some people say oh why have you done that and then that no i do that because sometimes it doesn't reset the scr tank so i do that instead and then control mode installation so that as well adjustment and adaption and reset i'm going to reset all adaptions as well so i'm going to go through all of them and then once i've done them so i'll start off with the ad balloon just say it's had a new AdBlue. It hasn't, obviously, but because they've been running the vehicle without the AdBlue system, um, you've got that issue and reset. Uh, yes. Okay. So that's that. Uh, diesel particle. Okay, that's fine. So moving on to the next one. Mm, oh, sh 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 let's try this one first. Continue. Sometimes as well. So that's done, lovely. Continue. Yes. Lovely. Come back out. Okay. Um, and then reset. Let me do this. The reason I'm doing all these is because sometimes it just doesn't do it. So I'll reset the top one. Yes. And da, da, da. And then, so that kind of does everything more or less. Let me just go from. I know that does it, but sometimes with I know it's hotel. So what you get is, yes, you're telling it to reset specific modules. It says it's done it, but it hasn't. If that makes sense. Um, uh, lasts for up to twenty minutes. Oh, God, not now, not now. Uh, so it'll take a while for that about 20 minutes turned on the ignition turn it on and off itself so you're just going to go through the uh, kind of blue system in that sense so we'll come back in 20 minutes really aren't we so i'm just resetting the ad blue the scr system it's going to reset some of the adaptions on the engine so like the math uh, the fuel system let's do the exhaust system first Okay, fuel system. This is basically the 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 way the reason I'm resetting these is to help everything go back to normal. Because what happens is the car judders at gear in the gears. Um, obviously, it's not the gearbox fault. It's actually the AdBlue system is clogged up and it's causing the car to go into limp mode type. Even though it's not in limp mode, it's not in fully limp mode. It's just one of those. So that's that. We'll do that as well even if, even though i've done some of these reset on the other options but i'm just going to do it anyway come back out of this um let's see if we can see anything else um nothing that i can see reset the scr let's just reset that as well anything scr we are going to reset former reset and uh, the remaining mileage range is increased once by about 50 in the next step 
I'm just going to do that again. So you've got a full reset. Okay, so that's that. Okay. So that's more or less it done. If we go into control unit, uh, sorry, auto scan, fault scan, and everything. So now you see it's intermittent. Everything, you, they used to be permanent, so it's intermittent now. Uh, so we are gonna reset. I'm not bothered about some of the rest. I'm not highly fussed about it. So we'll reset everything, delete it all. So what's happened is I've done it all, guys. And as you can see, everything's spot on now. Um, there is no more warning on there. And not again on here, no more warning. It usually comes up with a chassis. So I've done a bit of here and there, um, a few revs and no issues.